So the big news today is that Ukraine has sunk the Caesar Kunikov. Now let's look at the Caesar Kunikov and try to get a sense of what's going on. The AFU general staff confirms the destruction of this Russian ship. And it's it seems like one every other week, every three weeks, something like that. Uh, there's a lot of these that have that have taken place in recent days. What's fascinating to me is that the Russians were silent about this. Usually they put out there something, this didn't happen, it's a careless cigarette, it's something, uh, uh, whatever the excuse, but they didn't say anything at all. Okay, here's NPR, National Public Radio, talking about this. Ukrainian military says it sank a Russian landing ship in the Black Sea. What do we know about this? The Caesar Kunikov amphibious ship sank near Alupka, a city on the southern edge of the Crimean Peninsula that Moscow annexed in 2014, Ukraine's general staff said. It said the ship can carry 87 crew members. Well, so the first thing I want to know is, where is this? Uh, here's the, a picture of the ship. And here is Alupka. Alupka is just down from Yalta, which is famous for the Yalta Conference during World War II. And that they've been chased all the way around from Sevastopol, where they normally were, to other points around here over in, in this area, Fedosia. Um, remember Fedosia, where the attack was before, or uh, other parts along the the Russian or Crimean coast, Novor Novorossiysk, or other places, it's just absolutely fascinating that a country with no navy to speak of has been able to sink a third of the Russian Black Sea fleet. It's just, it's, it's phenomenal. Okay, here's the ship again. This is what it did look like. It has now been promoted to a submarine. Now, I, I was reading about this, and I thought there were just two things I wanted to highlight here. One, it's another large landing ship. Now, why are they going after these landing ships? Certainly, it would be great to take out something else that had like lots of extra firepower, but I think these ships are a lot less defendable. These ships are harder to defend. I, I don't think that they have necessarily, like if you went after a battleship, the battleship could probably, you know, shoot at whatever is coming at it. So while they're practicing and getting better and better at this, they're taking out these ships with this drone, with these drones, and it, it's like getting target practice. Okay. Uh, now, here's the other thing. It's a pretty new ship. October 30th, 1986 is when it was built. So this is one of the newer ships in the Russian fleet. Okay, so uh, back to the NPR article. A little bit more. Ukrainian attacks on Russian aircraft and ships in the Black Sea have helped push Moscow's naval forces back from the coast. A new generation of unmanned weapon systems has become a centerpiece of the war, both at sea and on land. The Magura V5 drone, which looks like a sleek black speedboat, was unveiled last year. It reportedly has a top speed of 42 knots and a payload of 700 pounds. So uh, they were using this kind of drone in order to go after the, the ship. And I'll show you this in just a moment. Here is uh, just some memes that were out here. Here's uh, select all the squares to the Black Sea fleet. If there are none, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, here's the actual footage of the drone boat going after it. And so it looks just like, and we've seen this story before. That's, that's the fascinating thing. Like the Russians haven't adapted to what is happening right now. And I'm not going to show you the, the moment of explosion. I'll, I'll put this below if you want to see it. Um, here's the before and here's the after. It's 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 pretty bad. Um, yeah, so, okay. Now this I thought was a really interesting. Um, Jay and Kiev talking about in, in what's become an almost bi-weekly event, another Russian warship is taken down by Ukrainian armed forces. The Caesar Kunikov now sleeps with the fishes. And here they X'd out which one it was. But look at all the fires on these other ships that have shown that they've been destroyed. Right? Again, a third of the Black Sea fleet has now been injured, incapacitated, destroyed something by Ukraine. And it's it's pretty remarkable. Uh, it's getting really busy at the bottom of the Black Sea. There's some traffic down there, so just be aware of it if you're going to go scuba diving. Uh, one last thought here before I'm done, and that is, this is interesting, this guy that it was named after, Kunikov, he died on February 14th, 1943. So I guess, I it's I mean, it's I wouldn't build a theory around this of that, you know, predict anything, but that's an interesting coincidence. Last, last thing, uh, if I just look up ship on my own site, here are 
<laughs> breaking drones sink Russian ship the Innovets and then we have another one the Askold and then we have the Russian sh landing ship Novocherkesk and there's and, and the hits go on and on it's like ship after ship has been hit by these Black Sea drones and it's pretty remarkable to watch all right that's all that I have it's a, it's pretty much the same song another verse but each one of these brings us a little bit closer to chasing the Russians out of the Black Sea thank you for your time thank you for the likes and the shares the subscribes and the coffees and thank you for being the kind of person that cares about Ukraine